Classic Restos is proudly brought to you by Shannon's, insurance for motoring enthusiasts. Hare and Forbes Machinery House, Pace Farm, Hero Hoists, and Martin's Panel Masters. <laughs> Hello and welcome back for another special episode of Classic Restos, this time back in Tiffin, Ohio. And this trip is a special thanks to Shannon's. Why not pick up the phone and give Shannon's a call for a quote on 134646. Hang about, you'll see more right after this. It's thanks to Shannon's. Ask about multi-policy discounts and sign up for the Shannon's Club. Call 134646 for a quote and see more at shannons.com.au. And Heron Forbes has the range. Buy online at machinerihouse.com.au. Now last year we had the opportunity to bring you Murray Park, a die-hard enthusiast with over 1,000 Mopars, a down-to-earth family guy and one of the nicest blokes you could ever meet. So we return to the gorgeous state of Ohio but this time it's to feature some of Murray's family and their cars and yes I have actually bought a barn find myself but I'm getting a little ahead of myself you'll see that later on in this episode. In the meantime, meet Christina. At 18 years of age, Christina is surrounded in a pretty cool environment with her family and these classic Chrysler Dodge cars. Christina is in her last year of high school and is studying for a doctorate in genetics. As gentle as Christina is, featuring her lovely temperament, she thinks nothing of driving her Dodge Ram hosting a 360 V8 a pretty tidy 1986 Chrysler 5th Avenue edition hosting a 318 V8. And then there is her classic, a 1958 DeSoto. Christina, welcome to today's show. Hi Fletch, how are you doing? I'm good, you? I'm good. That's good. You'd have to be good, wouldn't you? Yeah, I think so. I mean, how, how lucky are you? You've got this classic car, this, this 58 DeSoto Sportsman. What a magnificent looking machine. It really is. It really is. It's probably one of my favourite body styles. Absolutely. Now, somebody, uh, say, around your age in this area, uh, have you got any friends that are, that are into these types of cars as well? Um, I would say it's probably just me. Um, some of my friends... Uh, really like my car. They they always compliment me on it, but they really don't know too much about them. Right. We look at this car. Uh, what can you tell us about it? Like, uh, where did you where did you and your dad get it from? Well, my dad and I went to an estate sale, and it was there, and it looked pretty much like it does now, but it hadn't run since 1994. So we really didn't know how the mechanics would be or anything. So um, I told my dad I was just, I love the color, I love the car. So he bought it and we brought it home. Uh, all we pretty much had to do was a little tune-up. Um, we waxed it up, got it looking really nice, polished it, wheels and tires, things like that, and it runs great. We look inside. I mean, what a dash. I mean, that, that retro's 50s styling, it, it, that's just amazing. Yeah, um, I'm definitely a 50s girl. That's probably one of the reasons I like this car. Uh, yeah, the dash, just the chrome and the way the speedometer fills up instead of having a needle. I just love that kind of stuff. Yeah. I love the whole Art Deco style of everything. Um, the fins are definitely my favorite kind of car. Like, it, it's just, it's like you're driving a work of art. And they had such an appreciation back then for what cars looked like. Sure. So it's, it's definitely a special thing. Okay, Christina, how about the engine up front? What can you tell us there? Well, this car has a 350, which when I tell that to most people, they think it's a Chevy. Yeah. And I have to correct them and say, no, it is a Mopar engine. It was a one year only, and this was actually one of the only models it was uh, put in. Well, well, you never stop learning. I mean, I never, I never knew that. I mean, the displacements in the fifties, the engine sizes, they were, they were different to the sixties. Um, but it, it's interesting. There's no way in the world in this hobby that you'll ever get to know everything. I mean, there are just so many, possibly millions of 
little little factors to learn about. But it's really cool that you know some about this car. Yeah, definitely. How cool is this, Christina? Oh, it's great, Fletch. I love this car. <sighs> I mean, it must be... Well, it's a wind back in time, but I guess, well, both of us, we can just imagine what life must have been like back in 1958 and buying a brand new DeSoto. Oh, it... I can't even imagine. I, I've i thought about it many times, driving this car, just how amazing it would have been to walk into a showroom and see this sitting there. Yeah. And it's amazing, too, where you live in this regional part of Ohio. Got the cornfields around us and these beautiful smooth roads in, that are just kind of like you know drop like a ribbon over the landscape just absolutely beautiful this is bare bones from 1958 that's it's quite amazing it really is um, there's not even a rumble in the drive line you can't feel anything through uh, the suspension in, in any way um, it's not as wallowy on the road as what you would think as well it's quite firm the way it rides pretty good yeah I definitely think so this is probably my favorite car to drive that I've ever driven how cool is this GE dot headlamps were used between roughly 57 and 1962 this car every headlight has got the original GE stamping in the center that's amazing I mean how many 60 year old cars have got their original headlights Every weekend around Australia, motoring enthusiasts get together to share their passion for cars and bikes. It's a passion that brings us together. All sorts of people, all sorts of cars and bikes. From the classics of today to the classics of tomorrow. At Shannon's, we understand enthusiasts. So when it comes to insurance, it's got to be Shannon's. Shannon's, insurance for motoring enthusiasts. Call 13 46 46 for a quote. If you have a restoration project, Hair and Forbes has the tools that you need. Look at these restoration products. Shrinker stretchers, dollies, mallets, bead rollers, profile gauges, professional panel restoration kits, and so much more. Now I warn you, enter at your own risk because you will end up buying something. So come along to your Cap City store or browse and buy online at machineryhouse.com.au because Heron Forbes has the range. Well, it's 67 New Yorker. I bought it 15 years ago around there at Carlisle, Pennsylvania and drove it home with, with great plans for it. Um, ran home great. 70, 80 mile an hour on the turnpike. It's your standard, uh, well-preserved little old lady car. Got original paint, never been rusted. Got its usual battle scars from from uh, parking too close to the garage door and, and such. Um, but it's 440, 350 horse. Um, beautiful interior, power windows, air conditioning. Um, everything you'd want in a 1967 car. Bought it because I really liked it. Too much stuff going on, got stuck in the barn and kind of forgotten about for 15 years. Well, Fletch came along and decided he wanted, was interested in a car and he was car shopping in my barns and uh, saw it and, and had to have it. So we made a deal and got it out and shined it up and it's off to Australia to be loved and I, I'm happy to see that. Fletch is definitely your, uh, your, uh, uh, a real car guy. He, he goes through my barns uh, look, looking at cars and loves every one of them. He's kind of like me, lo loves, loves every one of them, uh, wants to take them all home and save them, uh, which is my problem. That's why I've got so many with, with no time to care for them. Um, but uh, it's going to a good home. Fletch is going to take great care of it and uh, bring it back to where it ought to be. Now it's time for someone very special in the family and it's Murray's mum. Oh yes, Jane has been a car girl for many years as well. After all, Murray had to get the car gene from somewhere, right? My favorite car of the many cars we've owned over the years is the 1956 Cadillac Convertible because it's been in the family since about 1958. We use it many times for uh, car shows over the years and it's won prizes and uh, oftentimes we'll 
get dressed up in our 50s outfits with the poodle skirts and the ponytails and uh, relive the 50s. The uh, fact that the car has been in the family so long, it's basically part of all of us and Murray is certainly involved in keeping it running and keeping it restored to the best of his ability. It is a uh, pretty much original car, so you just have to keep it running. Murray has mostly Chrysler products, Plymouths, DeSotos, Dodges, and that type of car, but uh, he finds time for this Cadillac. The Cadillac is unique in that it is uh, a typical 50s car with the uh, hidden gas tank that most people can't find. It's in the tail fin. Uh, the steering is with a huge steering wheel that's sometimes rather hard to keep on the road, for me anyway. Uh, I uh, drove it last time to a, a car show here in our town and uh, it got many, many, many people uh, wanting to know more about it because it's really unique as far as the, uh, the age and the fact that it's in such good condition. Basically, I love the fact that it's a convertible. When I was uh, a teenager in high school, I had a date with a young boy with a Cadillac convertible and married him, and that was 56 years ago. We've owned many cars uh, over the years and uh, show, have shown a lot of cars. I had a, a Chrysler 300 that won many, many prizes. It was a 1964, and uh, we enjoyed that, but the Cadillac was always first in our minds. Our son, Murray, is remarkable as a, a little little child, two, three, four years old. One of his first uh, words he ever spoke, I think, as a baby was Studebaker or Chrysler or one of those words because he and his father would read the car magazines together even way before he could even walk. Uh, he, he had a job at eight, oh, he was about eight years old when he had his first job and that was at a local wrecking yard and he would start bringing parts home until we had too many parts for our property and he at about 12 or 14 he rented a building on his own and started filling that full of parts and now he has properties full of parts. Uh, we've always loved classic cars especially cars of the 50s and 60s and uh, we will always be uh, always have some around because Murray will keep us supplied. Now Jane, on today's episode we've had your granddaughter Christina, mm -hmm. of course Murray's been on, well he's a regular on Classic Restos, mm -hmm. and now yourself. Now that's spanning three generations of uh, car enthusiasts in the one family. That'd be us, yep, that's now, for sure. Standing next to the Cadillac, the one we we're talking about, you've still got it, how does it make you feel outside here in the woods next to your car? Emotional. It's a wonderful car. It re represents a lot of years of owning it, driving in it, riding in it, uh, and a lot of his dad's memories are with me too. Hmm. It's amazing how classy this car was back in its day, brand new, and it's just as classy now, all these decades later. That's right. That's right. Especially the gold wheels and the El Dorado engine that it has mm. and uh, some of the special parts of it that weren't just normally on the assembly line. How did this get into the family? Oh, uh, well, the reason we have this car in our family is because back in 1971 when my father-in-law had the car uh, in his possession after many years, he decided to sell it and he parked it out on the boulevard at his home and had a beginning price of $1,200, which I think he may have reduced to $900, and it didn't sell to anyone. No one, no one wanted it. No one wanted it at $900. <laughs> so we, we kept it now, and now it's 
2017, and it's still it's still ours. All right, Jane, look, it's been lovely talking to you. We'll let you go and sit down now, and I really appreciate your time. It's been an absolute honour being here this afternoon, turning up at your house and interviewing you next to this beloved Cadillac. Thanks, Fletch. We appreciate you coming here in, in Ohio. That's OK. All right, you take care. I spend a lot of time out here. The RT Charger's the real deal. An E49. Remember A Charger? I've always got projects on the go, so Shannon's laid up cover helps protect my restorations. I'm Mopar through and through. It's a passion Shannon's understands. I wouldn't insure my cars and bikes with anyone else. Shannon's, insurance for motoring enthusiasts. Call 13 46 46 for a quote. Heron Forbes Machinery House has been family owned and operated for over 85 years and it's easy to see why. And with a range like this, you cannot go wrong. Planning on welding? Look at these welding tables and clamps, air compressors and different air tools, sandblasting cabinets, through to spray guns. Everyone is welcome at Machinery House and they're also open Saturday mornings. Their range of machine tools are workshop tested. There are competitive freight rates around Australia and you can buy online at machinerywhouse.com.au. So remember, Hare and Forbes has the range. Last year, 2016, I couldn't help myself here in Ohio. You've seen Murray before. Well, Murray, he's got around a thousand Mopars. He's in the parts business and he's got these turkey sheds and with cars parked herringbone in the sheds, uh, that was a successful spanner drop. <laughs> and walking through one of the sheds, I found this 67 New Yorker, and I felt sorry for it. And uh, hey, look, you know, I'm not a rich guy by any means, but having a show, Classic Restos, uh, it's a case of practicing what you preach. And this is another one to the Fletch collection. Now, this has not started for 15 years. We've got a 440 here. It's a 350 horsepower 440 from 1967, uh, which uh, is equating to 260 kilowatts of power for the day. Now, you've heard of the original look, you've heard of the patina look. Well, the carburetor, we've got the oxidized look. What do you say, Murray? Definitely oxidized look. I don't know if that thing's going to do anything or not. I mean, sitting for 15 years. We've checked the oil, we've put a brand new battery on it this morning, uh, we've got some uh, coolant in the radiator. What do you reckon? Well, we've hooked this this uh, alternate fuel source up too, which with, yeah. a, with a pump on it, to help, yeah. help prime it up and not run that nasty old gas through it that's yeah. in the tank. It's going to get a new fuel tank. I mean, if we're sitting for 15 years, I mean, it's going to be like varnish in that thing. Oh, I'm sure. I think it'll go. It's a Mopar. It's got to start. <laughs> we'll soon find out. Yeah, try it again. How's it looking, Murray? Uh, I don't know, try it again. I see some gas in there, so it ought to go if it's gonna go. 15 years. <laughs> There you go, Murray. Is that a testament to the 440 or what? Yep, sounds good too. Mm. But then again, there's there's so many stories. These old cars, you know, you they can sit around for years. You put a fresh battery on them, bit of gas down the carb, and away they go. Exactly, and that that's uh, I, I it runs better than I would have guessed. So the engine running. I mean, apart from engine pipes and you know exhaust leak, Murray the. The engine's as smooth as soot. There's, yeah. no, there's no lifter noise. Uh, it's, it's, it runs well. Yeah, sounds very good. I don't see any leaks, drips. Yeah. It's. I'm impressed. Good on you, mate. Well done. Well done. Well, here it is a 100% original car. And it's a four door car. People over here in the United States of America, well, they're not lining up to buy four-door cars. It's like as though they're on the nose. There's still a big two-door emphasis. But these four-door cars, these, I guess, the uh, high line of car in the chain, 
in my opinion, well, I reckon they're probably next to become popular uh, as time rolls on by. I love these big cars. They're well powered and they're full of features. Murray being a Mopar enthusiast, he buys these cars, he's been buying them since the early 1980s, probably even beforehand. He gets emotionally attached to these cars and then he finds himself, you know, it's hard for him to sell them. But if you get him at the right moment, well, he might let one go. Now, the last time this car drove was by Murray and he actually drove it from Carlisle in Pennsylvania 15 years ago at uh, speeds over 70 miles per hour and the car did it really, really well. So as we look around the car, we've still got uh, the stainless steel, all the bright work, and uh, it's a complete car. So nothing's missing, which, which is great. Uh, cosmetically, that can be the biggest nightmare, as you know, when you are preserving a car or trying to restore one. I love the back of the car, the die-cast taillights that turn in and contour themselves around the, the back of the rear quarter. The nice brushed aluminium or die cast section across the trunk lid displaying Chrysler is a very very neat touch as well very very clean and a very very stylish part of the car we've got a vent at uh, the bottom of the rear screen uh, that's the induction there for the rear blower motor which is located inside the trunk now you might be thinking, why is there a headrest on the passenger seat and not the driver's seat? Well, that had me a little confused as well. And I found out that uh, this particular model, as an option, is that the passenger side seat can recline all the way and meet the back seat. So, hence the headrest. And it's the old story too, with an original high-end car. In most cases, these are the cars that didn't have young families through them during their lives. Uh, executive type cars, people that might have got taxi cabs or someone from work to run them to the airport. Low mileage cars. Now years ago when I saw a car this age with 40,000 miles on it or 60,000 miles on it, I naturally thought it had done the 99,999, the 100,000 and rolled round. And, and done another 40 or 50,000. But getting a little more involved with these American cars, you soon start and realise when you start talking to families that are selling these cars that these are original mile cars. These 60s cars were the last of the era really where they had a lot of bright work around the interior. There were some big manufacturers that carried the bright work into the 70s, but the 60s era and of course the late 50s are really big on it. And inside here there's no lack of features with the New Yorker. We've got power windows of course, power steering, air conditioning, We've got a six-way power seat on my side of the car. We've got captain chairs armrest between the two front seats. All the niceties that make a classic like this superb to drive. Anyway at this point that's enough of me and the New Yorker and you'll see more updates on the car in future episodes down the track on Classic Restos. Well, I'm back in the United States with Mark from Shannon's Insurance. Now, you might remember last year, Mark purchased himself a classic Woody wagon, a Mercury Colony Park, 1978 model, and then drove it three quarters of the way across the United States to his shipper at San Francisco. Well, this year, we're back again, and yeah, he's bought something else. It's behind me. It's a 1971 Imperial hosting the big 440 and just about to embark upon the same trip, and you'll see more more of that in up and coming episodes of Classic Restos. Well, it's been quite an episode. We featured Christina and her delightful 1958 DeSoto. And then Murray, well, he got himself back in there again. And then of course, Murray's mum's sensational 1956 Cadillac convertible. I hope you've really enjoyed this week's episode of Classic Restos. And of course these return trips to the United States is a special thanks to Shannon's. Why not pick up the phone and give Shannon's a call for a quote on 134646 and make sure you're a member of the Shannon's Club. Until next week, no matter where you're watching the show from, please ride and drive safe. I'm Fletch and I thank you very much for watching. You can like and follow us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash classic restos TV and watch catch up episodes at shannons.com.au.
Classic Restos is proudly brought to you by Shannon's, insurance for motoring enthusiasts. Hare and Forbes Machinery House, Pace Farm, Hero Hoists, and Martin's Panel Masters.